The world has always been a competitive place, and as technology advances, so does the race for superiority in the skies. The current fifth-generation fighters have been the pinnacle of air combat technology for the past few decades. But with other countries rapidly advancing their own fighter programs, it's time for the next step. The problem is clear. How do we maintain air superiority against potential adversaries who are developing their own advanced fighter jets? The solution is the development of sixth-generation fighters, which you will learn in more detail in this video. Let's begin with the leader of the world military, United States. The United States Air Force has launched a top-secret program called Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD in short, to develop and deploy the next generation of fighter jets. Little is known about the project, but it is expected to be a game-changer in the world of air dominance. NGAD aims to replace the current fleet of fighter jets, including the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, with a new generation of aircraft. The program is focused on developing advanced technologies that will give the Air Force a significant advantage over potential adversaries. It is being developed in collaboration with top defense contractors such as Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. The NGAD program is expected to incorporate advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence, hypersonic capabilities, and directed energy weapons. These advanced technologies will give the aircraft unparalleled capabilities, making them the most advanced fighter jets ever built. The program is significant because it aims to maintain the United States' air dominance against potential adversaries such as China and Russia. These countries have been developing advanced fighter jets and weapon systems that threaten the United States' air superiority. The NGAD program aims to ensure that the United States has the most advanced fighter jets and weapon systems in the world. One of the most critical features of the program is its focus on developing a family of systems rather than a single aircraft. The NGAD program will develop a range of systems that can operate together, allowing for greater flexibility and adaptability. The program aims to develop a system of systems that can operate in a wide range of environments and perform a variety of missions. As we wrap up our discussion of the American 6th generation fighter jet, it's clear that this aircraft represents a significant leap forward in terms of advanced military technology. But as we turn our attention to the Japanese 6th generation fighter, we can see that Japan is also making significant strides in this field. The Mitsubishi FX is a sixth-generation fighter jet under development by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. This advanced fighter aircraft is set to replace Japan's aging fleet of Mitsubishi F-2 fighters and is expected to be one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world. The FX is designed to be a multi-role fighter capable of carrying out a wide range of missions including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground attacks, and electronic warfare. The aircraft is being developed in partnership with Lockheed Martin, with MHI leading the development of the airframe and systems integration, and Lockheed Martin providing the avionics and weapon systems. One of the key features of the FX is its stealth technology, which will make it difficult to detect and track by enemy radars. The aircraft will have a low radar cross-section thanks to its carefully designed shape, and will use advanced materials to absorb and scatter radar signals. This will make it an ideal platform for carrying out surprise attacks on enemy targets, as well as for carrying out reconnaissance missions. The FX will also be equipped with the latest in avionics and weapon systems, including advanced radar, sensors, and electronic warfare capabilities. It will be able to carry a variety of weapons including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. In addition, it will be able to carry out advanced electronic warfare missions, such as jamming enemy communications and radar systems. The aircraft will be powered by two General Electric F-1414 engines, which will give it a top speed of Mach 2.5 and a wide range of over 2,000 kilometers. The engines will also provide the FX with excellent maneuverability, allowing it to perform complex aerial maneuvers and maintain a high level of situational awareness in combat. One of the unique features of the FX is its design for interoperability with the U.S. military. The aircraft is being developed to operate seamlessly with U.S. aircraft and systems, which will enable it to take part in joint operations with U.S. forces. This will be particularly important in the Asian Pacific region, where the U.S. and its allies face a range of threats from countries such as China and North Korea. 
The FX program is still in the development phase, with the first flight expected in the mid-2020s. Once the aircraft enters service, it will significantly enhance Japan's air defense capabilities and help to maintain stability in the region. It will also provide a boost to Japan's domestic aerospace industry, which has been struggling in recent years due to a lack of large-scale defense contracts. Now that we've explored some of the key features and advancements in the Japanese sixth-generation fighter jet, it's worth taking a moment to shift our attention to Europe's own development in this field. The Tempest is another sixth-generation fighter jet currently being developed by a consortium of British aerospace companies led by BAE Systems. It is designed to replace the Royal Air Force's aging Typhoon fleet and to provide a cutting-edge fighter capable of maintaining air superiority in the 2030s and beyond. The Tempest project was announced in July 2018 with a concept model of the aircraft unveiled at the Farnborough Air Show later that month. Since then, the project has progressed rapidly, with the UK government committing £2 billion to the development of the aircraft over the next decade. The Tempest is being developed with a number of key objectives in mind. Firstly, it is designed to be highly maneuverable and able to operate in a range of environments from traditional air-to-air -air combat to ground attacks and electronic warfare. It will also be stealthy, making it harder to detect by radar and other sensors. Another key focus of the Tempest project is the use of cutting-edge technologies to enhance the aircraft's performance. For example, it will be equipped with advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities, allowing it to make faster and more accurate decisions in combat situations. It will also use a range of sensors and data processing technologies to provide pilots with enhanced situational awareness. One of the most significant features of the Tempest is its propulsion system. The aircraft will be powered by a unique adaptive cycle engine, which is designed to be highly efficient and capable of adapting to different flying conditions. This will give the Tempest a longer range and allow it to operate more effectively in a wider range of environments. The Tempest is also designed to be highly modular, with a range of different sensors, weapons, and other components that can be easily swapped in and out depending on the mission requirements. This will make it a highly flexible and adaptable platform, capable of taking on a wide range of roles and missions. Overall, the Tempest is an exciting and ambitious project that represents a major leap forward in fighter jet technology. With its advanced features and capabilities, it is set to become one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world, providing the RAF with a powerful and versatile platform for decades to come. However, Tempest is not the only sixth-generation fighter jet currently under development in Europe. The Future Combat Air System, or FCAS in short, is a next-generation military aviation system that is currently under development by a collaborative effort between several European countries. The system is being designed to meet the evolving operational needs of modern air forces and is expected to provide enhanced combat capabilities, interoperability, and survivability in complex and contested environments. The FCAS program is a joint venture between France, Germany, and Spain with the involvement of other European countries as well. The program aims to develop a new generation of fighter aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, and a range of associated systems, including sensors, communications, and weapons. The FCAS program is divided into two parts. The first part is the development of a next generation fighter aircraft, which will replace the current generation of fighter aircraft in the participating countries. The second part of the program is the development of a suite of unmanned aerial vehicles, including both combat and support drones, that will be integrated with the fighter aircraft to provide enhanced situational awareness, increased firepower, and improved logistic support. The FCAS program is expected to deliver a number of benefits for the participating countries. First and foremost, the new system will provide a significant increase in combat capability with improved situational awareness, stealth, and long-range strike capabilities. The system is also expected to be highly interoperable, allowing for seamless cooperation between different types of aircraft, as well as between different countries' air forces. In addition to its combat capabilities, the FCAS program is also expected to deliver significant economic benefits for the participating countries. The development and production of the new aircraft and associated systems will create thousands of high-skilled jobs while also supporting the growth of a range of high-tech industries.
The FCAS program is still in the development stage, and it is expected to take several more years before the first aircraft and systems are deployed. However, the program is already generating significant interest from other countries around the world, with many expressing interest in partnering with the European nations on the development and production of the new system. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, please write your feedback in the comments below. We read each one. See you soon.